What's up YouTube, it's Ariel Sorio, and today we're going to be making a video on the Hoka One One Ma 4 shoe review. So, let's get started. So the Hoka One One Mach 4, I got them yesterday and right now I just got finished with my run. I'm working on getting a 5k, do, being able to do it nice and easy, no problem. I'm slowly working my way up. So I decided to get these shoes to help me with that personal goal of mine and then slowly build more and more and more up to further increase my stamina and my endurance. And I did a little bit of research about these shoes and I've had the Hoka One One Clifton 8 before and the 7s and I love them but I wanted something a little bit more fast something that weighs a tiny bit less and these were the perfect shoes for me that has very good stability very good amount of comfort and cushioning but also allowing me to go fast when I want to and these were the shoes for me so right off the bat after my first run which was a little bit less than 30 minutes it was around 25 minutes slowly doing intervals up and down I would consider myself not necessarily a beginner runner but not an intermediate runner so somewhere in the middle between a beginner and intermediate runner so if you guys have any tips for me you guys are more than welcome to leave them for me and right off the bat after my first initial use of the Hoka One One Mach 4 I absolutely love the Pro Fly cushioning which is the blue right here because it's super soft but if you go down a little bit and touch the white part it is a lot more firm ride, which allows you to get the soft cushioning that Hoka One One is known for, but also somewhere where you can stabilize yourself and have a firm ride when you need it. So you get the best of both worlds in that sense. And I love the colorway of this shoe because I'm a fan of neon, but I'm also a fan of blue. So having sort of like a teal or sort of color like this makes it an awesome looking shoe for me. I love it. And this is 3M, so if you guys are running at nighttime and are worried that cars might not see you, if you're wearing all black or anything, don't worry about it. The shoe has 3M, the Volt neon color right here. It's 3M, so if you guys are worried about that, you're secured. And this shoe is super, super lightweight. I believe it's somewhere around eight ounces. I believe somewhere around that. And I'm a true to size 10 and a half, and this, this shoe fits true to size 10 and a half for me. So if you guys are on the fence of whether you should size down, if you should size up, I would recommend going to a store trying them personally to see the best fit for you but for me personally a true to size is perfect so without further ado moving on to the next part i tie them firmly the the shoelaces don't move or anything they stay in place don't get unlaced awesome feature with that and going on in terms of the bottom of the shoe it does have very good stability and also grip right here it might not seem like it but it does you get a little bit of the padding right here a lot of padding around the heel which is, I absolutely love because if there's one thing that I hate about shoes is when it rubs against my heel because it makes me not want to wear them anymore. And if I'm using these for the summertime or the fall or winter or spring or any type of season, I sometimes want to use shorter socks instead of high socks. So if I'm using these for the summertime, then of course I'm going to go low socks and having the cushioning on these is perfect. So after I did my first run a couple of minutes ago, I definitely recommend these shoes for you. Again, I'm not an advanced runner, so take that with a grain of salt in terms of what you take out of this video because I am going towards that direction in terms of being a more advanced runner. This is just my first initial review about the shoe. This is absolutely amazing. I love that it has ventilation all around the shoe because in my personal opinion, my feet tend to sweat and I like feeling the breeze in the air. And even if you were to look inside the shoe right here deep it does have some ventilation even with inside the shoe if you guys want a more close-up of the shoe this is how the shoe looks very very nice the hoka pro fly the hoka one one mach 4 this is how the shoe looks after my first run right there you guys see the cushioning right here it's amazing and you cannot go wrong with this even lifting both of the shoes like this they're super super comfortable you cannot go wrong with them and in terms of who the shoe is for i did a little bit of research in terms of who the shoe was for and according to what the web says these shoes are good for anyone that wants a long distance run or somewhere where you are able to increase your speed but also have a recovery shoe. So somewhere in between a distance shoe, speed, and a recovery shoe, you have all of those into one shoe and these are the ones for you because they're amazing, they have comfort, they allow you to go faster when you need it, and they allow you to feel plush, comfort, and everything when it comes to that during each and every stride and step during your run. 
So if you're on the fence about wanting a daily runner or a daily trainer shoe that allows you to do a little bit of everything and not excel in one or the other specific feature, then these are the shoes for you because these can be used for your daily runners and have no problem. You will not go wrong with these shoes. In terms of the price, these are the Hoka One One Mach 4 and the price is 130 US dollars. And in my personal opinion, that is a very good price because for what you get, the stability, the comfort, and I know because I've had Hoka's before, the durability of these shoes are unprecedented because they're just amazing shoes to have. And that is why I decided to get these yesterday. And I was too excited to try them on and start running later on this week. But I just wanted to go ahead and get started. So this is why I came to the gym, did a run because where I live right now, it's currently cold. And definitely when it does start to warm up a little bit, I will 100% be using these shoes for running on track in order to help towards my 5k goal and hopefully more and more and more as I get more advanced. So this is just a first impressions of the Hoka One One Mach 4. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know if you have any running tips for me since I'm either a beginner or an intermediate somewhere inside there. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. New videos every Tuesday and every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So thank you guys for watching. Ariel Sorio signing out. Thank you.